course of Scotland. 339 Ben Furness, 977 is next, that's Jordan Rochford. 904 Kieran McConnell, 45 is Craig Boyd. 633 Spud, Rob Gamble. 823 is next, Alex Rogan. 22 Mark Cooper Jr., 878 Chrissy Dern, 57 Barry Lima, 87 world champion Frankie Cunningham. 964 is Dane Ferry, 947 Gordy McKee, number three Jordan Spavins, 937 is Ben McKee, and number 51 is Andy King. So a slightly depleted field of lightning rods then. I think we can delete a couple more from the programme, but we'll have a look later on, see if they turn out. So a few entries missing, but we're ready for lightning rods. Heat number one, over 20 laps, here we go. Green flag waves and they're away. And it's car number 32, Kev Bagnall, the veteran campaigner who leads the way into the first turn. Track drying out slightly now. Mick Walker's made a great start. He's up in the second, and Scotsman Alan Conroy was third, but through goes Mike Daniels in car number 730 to take up third place. So, 32, Kev Bagnall leads for in-car race. It's Speedworth's Mick Walker in second, Mike Daniels in third. The first Northern Irishman is 904, Kieran McConnell, the man who was... Uh, Brendan McConnell, sorry, the man who was fastest in practice on Friday, something of a surprise to see the 904 car top the timesheets. Of course, uh, the big favourites in Northern Irish racing over the years have been the Emerson family. They're not here this weekend. And through goes Mick Walker into the lead at turn three. So, 355, Mickey Walker from Peterborough takes up the lead running then in the green. Stimson Motorsport Sierra, the defending national champion. He lost the English championship earlier this year at Hensford to Frankie Cunningham in a good dice between those two. Frankie is the world, European and English champion, trying to add nationals to that score as well. Mike Daniels passes Kev Bagnall the second, and he's followed by the former world champion, 636 Lee Scoyles. Race settled in then, with Walker leading from Daniels. Scoyles, Bagnall, 977 of Jordan Rochford is up there in fifth ahead of Brendan McConnell. A few others not out in this one. Alan West, number 76, doesn't seem to be here. Uh, 905 Connor Smith and 932 Wayne Hewitt. I think there are other absentees from the entry. There go the leads. Walker, Daniels and Scoyle for three Speedworth drivers together. One disappointment is no representation from uh, PRI Arena Essex this year. No Gary Greenland or Mark Collins or Terry Shelby. 823 slowing up there. That's uh, Alex Rogan out of the race. He's onto the centre. So Mick Walker already is staking his claim to retain the national title. He's coming up to lap Graham Swan. Not of cricket fame in car 876. He's from Scotland. Lee Scoyles on the tail of Mike Daniels, the ex-Ringwood Raceway driver, for second place. Brendan McConnell is now fourth, fifth Jordan Rochford, and sixth the pole sitter Kev Bagnall. Will he reach half distance? Seventh is 45, Craig Boyd. We'll see his dad Graham out in the classic hot rods this weekend. In eighth place, number 57, that's Barry Lima from Stoke. Ninth is Frankie Cunningham, having started near the back. And tenth, 339, Ben Furness, ahead of Paul Blackman in the yellow car. That's the ex-Dave Leach machine. Paul Blackman, the longest serving driver in lightning rods. Graham Swan being lapped in car number 876. He gets tipped there by Gordy McKee. Now the McKee family haven't featured much in this one so far, which is a surprise because Gordon McKee in particular is very fast around Hensford. Graham Swan retiring the Westerns recovery car, number 876. Leaders coming up on some back markers now. They've got Andy King from Warwickshire in car 51 ahead of them. Also number three, Jordan Spavins, the son of uh, lightning rod great Richard Spavins, who has many wins here at Hensford in the past. And also the 878 car of Chrissy Dern. They are lapped by race leader Mick Walker. Lee Scoyles still unable to get past Mike Daniels for second place. Down the back straight go the first three. They're a long way clear now. Top four are a long way clear, I should say. We've got a spin out of turn one. Look out, leaders. Spud Gamble has spun there at turn one. Is he going to get out of the way just in time? It looked like it was a tangle there with Mark Cooper Jr. for Spud Gamble. But he's got away with it. He's trying to rejoin. We've also lost uh, 
and be King on to the centre. The 51 car has retired. A challenge on for third place here. Whoops, Chrissy Dern goes spinning. That's uh, upset the third place battle. Third through the third now is uh, Jordan Rocheford in 977. Brendan McConnell is fourth. The big loser there was Lee Scoyles in car number 636. Still your leader is Mick Walker in car 355. Mike Daniels in second. Lee Scoyles retired. He's got a puncture as a result of uh, clipping something when he tried to avoid Chrissy Dern up there on turn two, I think. A couple of laps left now for reigning national champion. 355, Mick Walker. Daniels still second. Rochford still third. One lap to go. Mickey Walker showing his mastery of Hensford Raceway as Rochford clips the back of Jordan Spavin there and Spavin spins on turn two. We're on the last lap now. Here comes Mick Walker in car 355 and he takes the chequered flag. Walker wins it. Second place to Mike Daniels. Third it will be, oh, Brendan McConnell just gets past Jordan Rochford for third there on the line. Fifth is Frankie Cunningham. Sixth, Barry Limer. Seventh, Craig Boyd. Eighth place goes to, I think, Dane Ferry in 9.64. Ninth to... Uh, Ben McKee and 10th Paul Blackman. The order shaken up a bit there when Chrissy Dern spun in front of the pack at turn.